Okay, so I feel like I need to talk this out. I'm cooking now. I just was in my workshop. I, I just did my workshop this morning. I have like this pain in my heart. I just... So I was doing my... I'm, I'm making food. So I have quinoa going and I'm making a soup. I just turned it down so that I could... Uh, so that I could uh, take my time while I'm doing this. So I just did my workshop this morning and I uh, have given myself, I always try to give myself something dramatic to work on. Um, you know, something that I know is actually pulling me out of my comfort zone um, so that I can make leaps and bounds and not just little strides because I feel like um, in the last two weeks, the, the homework that we were given, I mean, besides the extra homework that Roy gave me on my own, that it was to bring myself forward. And I feel like I did that fairly easy. And then... And then I, I felt like I came to like a place where I'm stumping and I know where I'm stumping. It's stumping on bringing myself forward. But there were a lot of things that were that were said, like, for instance, I know that I have gifts to give. And one of the things that Louise said, I'll just turn it off, was that when you have these gifts to give, when you have these gifts to give, if you if you don't give them, then you lose them, which I completely understand. That that is what I feel like. That when you have a gift to give, it's 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 like given to you to give. So so if you're not giving it, then you're stuck in one place yourself because. In order for your gift to keep on coming through you, you have to keep letting it out the other side. Otherwise, just come, something comes in and it gets stuck. Like my book I've been writing for the last, I don't know how many years. And, and that feels to me like it's so true because wherever you put your focus, you know, when, wherever you put your focus is what grows in your life. So if you want your gift to continue to grow and for you to continue to be able to get your gift, you have to have make, you have to make a flow of it. So I'm working on this workshop and what we came up with, I, you know, I said, listen, I feel like I need to bring myself more out. And what we came up with uh, during the workshop is that I would make a workshop about opening up your your heart like because I know that I make people feel I make people I don't make people feel but when people are in my presence they feel and I was sharing that a lot a lot a lot of times I meet people it's not just once it's very often I meet people and just like and within the first five minutes, people want to tell me their whole life story, everything that they've gone through. And this is something that, that reoccurs in my life over and over and over. It's, it's not new. It's been like that ever since I can really remember that people have always wanted to share with me what, what is going on in their own lives. And I feel like, okay, so first of all, how do you, how do you make something like that into a workshop? I'm going to, I'm making a soup out of orange peas, and I'll show you what else I put. I put there's potatoes and carrots and uh, kishuim, or um, uh, squash, uh, cilantro, uh, onion, and, and um, garlic. And so now I'm going to be adding these orange, it's going to be like an orange soup. Maybe. 
So I'm going to wash them. I don't have a, uh, I don't think I have. No, I don't. I don't have uh, here a uh, one of those uh, drainers that is just like a screen drainer. So I'm just going to do it like in a cup. And put it, put them in there. I'm going to wash out just you know the like dust or whatever. Just run some. before I put them in. And so what we came up with, the workshop that we came up with uh, for me to do is to like have a, to open your heart, to live a life through open, through an open heart. And the, what I decided that I'm going to do is we gave it a, 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 we gave it a title, but I'm kind of changing up the title a little bit. So this is evolving with me as uh, this day progresses. And so I decided I'm going to do something about open, living a life with an open heart and living a life through emotions. And by living a life through your emotions, having a more fulfilled life, you know, feeling. And what I also realize is that one of the things on this is that, is that when I meet with people, a lot of times I give them like, they get from the interaction with me, and this is one of my gifts, Again, I'm just, you know, just in these last few months have I been able to fully come out and say what my gifts are and allow myself even to say, hey, the, I have these gifts. But I know that I have messages that come through me for people that I meet. And I get messages. And I know that when, when I have meaningful conversations with people many times, most of the times, it, it uh, sends people uh, uh, um, uh, further along. It like, it's like getting a quantum boost to their spiritual awakening. So I allow people to feel. I know that people, when they are with me, they, they, they feel their emotions. So that is something that I know. I'm going to swap these out because this one needs a bigger flame. And this one can go on a smaller flame. So, how do you put that into a workshop? How do you say, hey, come, and so I wrote down some, some marks about, about it. So what I decided to do is I'm giving myself homework of seven, seven points that I can talk about during this workshop. It's supposed to be a really simple two hour workshop that I'm putting together for a low cost, whoever wants to join me for a low cost. I may do one on Zoom and then do, go ahead and do one like where people can come and visit that way. Maybe I can do one, uh, I can do two of these workshops. That way I'll also be able to allow people that are uh, that don't live in the area and that it's a long drive for them to come all the way up north 
to be able to also participate in the workshop um, and also it gives me a chance to do two workshops at the same time. Um, so what I need to come up with is seven points that I am making for opening your heart. You know, seven different points that I'm making. I'm going to go get my, uh, I'm going to go get my uh, paper and bring it over here so I can go over the points. So let me see what I wrote down. So the, the thing, is, the, the quotidian, well, the, the like the, the sentence that we came up with is living through emotion or living through your heart, like life through your heart. And it's opening your heart, no, opening, what is it? Opening your life through opening your heart. So that's what I came up with. And then, so one of the one of the points is learning how to listen to your intuition. Another one is our emotions are our guidance system, and that and then that comes into your your mind and your emotion must work together, and then in synchronicity, and you have to learn how to like differentiate between your emotions. Like, are you feeling your emotion because of fear? Or are you feeling your emotion because it is following your, well, your emotions follow your truths. So if you believe something to be true, then, you know, anyway, so that is one of the points. And that's what I have so far. And then I started thinking, well, I also want to do, what I really want to do is one-on-ones with people and help them along their path and, and inspire them and, and allow them to grow on their spiritual journey. And so that is another thing that all of a sudden came up with me that maybe I should put out that I do, uh, that I do, you know, Sichot Yehuds is like, um, advice, like advisories. Like if you want to speak with me one-on-one -on -one, that uh, for opening your heart and oh another one is learning how to follow your nose so that's also learning how to follow your nose that's also learning how to follow your your emotion for a more splendid life so it means like a, 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 um, like a conversation but it's more like when you talk to somebody to get advice so uh, uh, getting advice for opening your heart and uh, um, getting a push along your uh, spiritual journey, spiritual path. And then I was thinking, well, you know, do I really, is this something I, I need to, I need, it needs to work out for me because really what I would like to do is I would like it to be really easy going, not like me sitting in there and giving you and giving like a, well, this is what you have to do, but more of like a conversation between a group of people for opening your heart and understanding your emotions and really just getting some kind of push in your spiritual journey. So that is what I really would like to do. And I have to somehow put that into words and decide how it's going to be. I also would like to have like this list so that if people, when people come, that I will have the list there and ready and available. And also I can send the list to people so that they know what they're coming to uh, approximately. It doesn't have to be like, a religion or a religious thing like it has to be this but I do need some kind of skeleton that I can go back to in case of a moment where I don't have anything to say which as you can see those are far in between it seems like I always have something to say I am happy with myself that I always have something to say. And it's really funny that I, I always have something to say in the end. In the end, it always works out good. Also, that trip that I did. And, you know, people from the trip, I just, while I'm doing this uh, this video, I'm getting 
uh, I got a text message from somebody that went on that trip with me. And so I see that, that you know, I do have a positive effect and that people enjoy my company. People like me. And I'm, you know, I, so what? So I hoot my own, my own horn. I mean, if I'm not going to hoot it, there's no, I uh, look, nobody here, nobody here. Somebody's got to hoot my horn. Otherwise I just sit there all day long going like this. So I'm happy, happy, happy to hoot my own horn. I know, I know that many people are, and I'm really proud of myself because I was telling, I was telling also in the workshop about it that I put up a video the other day onto, and I also did a video about it, I also told about it, I put a video up the other day onto Facebook and somebody wrote back to me that I'm conceited or something along those lines and I'm like, and it didn't even bother me. It didn't move me, not one little bit. I didn't feel like, oh no, my world is crashing. I didn't feel like that at all. I like me, when I watch my videos because I sit there and I type out uh, the text for my videos, and I watch myself, and sometimes I get so interested in what I'm saying because a lot of the times the things that I'm saying are coming through me as I'm saying them. And so when I listen to them afterwards, it's almost like hearing the messages myself. And uh, sometimes I get like into it and I forget to type. So I'm proud of myself. Like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with myself good enough. So that's more about my workshop and what I'm going to be doing on my workshop. So any ideas if, uh, you know, we don't see ourselves, and, and this is including me. So if you see something that I could put into the workshop or, or even what, uh, you know, if you can think of a different idea that would be good for me to do a workshop, what would be, you know, because I know that it has to do with working with people and having, you know, I want to invite people to come and something with me um, and I know that it is in the spiritual in the spiritual along the spiritual path but if you have any ideas or how to represent it or anything like that I'm, I'm open and happy for input see I'm working through this as we go and I and I uh, I like the getting ideas and doing brainstorming together with other people it helps me so if you have anything to say and to add then I'm I, I'm willing and ready to listen and you know work with it whatever comes up we'll see so sending you lots of love and thank you